In December of 2016, these music videos had Our Office and The World Buzz. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 music videos of December 2016. For this list, we've selected our favorite music videos of December 2016, productions that stand out in both style and substance. Let me know you in the meantime. Hopefully, if things seem right, I'ma be needing your ringside. Number 10, Mrs. Potato Head, Melanie Martinez. If you weren't born with it, you can buy a couple ornaments. Just be sure to read the warning kits. Beautifully grotesque, this timely video speaks volumes about societal pressures on modern women. New York native Melanie Martinez offers up a strong visual statement with Mrs. Potato Head, and her conceptual character falls victim to her own insecurities. If you want a little more confidence, potatoes turn to french fries, yeah it's common sense. All you need's a couple more condiments. There's a visual balance of adolescent imagery and melancholic surrealism, producing a jarring effect as Crybaby distorts her own reality and ultimately faces the consequences. Shot by cinematographer Josh McKee, it's a bold commentary for a Kardashian world, and it's even more impressive given the fact that Martinez directed the video herself. Dear Missy, I did not grow up to be you, but I did grow to be me and be in love with who this woman is. Number 9, Better Than Me. Blood Orange featuring Carly Rae Jepsen. So, here's another dynamic production that's also directed by the artist, otherwise known as Dev Hines. Shot in a sunlit warehouse, Better Than Me features a poetic group dance, choreographed by Judy Onuki, with Carly Rae Jepsen hypnotically staged on the outside to complement the organic imagery. On one hand, it's a minimalist production reminiscent of early 90s art rock, yet Hines infuses his distinct modern style while showcasing a multifaceted collaborative performance. It's a highly stylized music video, at least in terms of dress and movements, and the roaming camera of Garrett Hardy Davis captures the lyrics, existential angst. Number 8, Bounce Back. Big Sean. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Boy, I've been broke as hell. Catch the check and bounce back. Featuring the colorful visual palette of directors Glenn Michael and Christo Anesti, this trap production balances the earthly elements with a little Big Sean bravado. My daddy is genetics. I heard your new shit is pathetic. The contrast should be shredded. Overall, it's a lavish and far-reaching music video, staging the artist in his natural setting while offering a look at his inner psyche. Bounce, 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 bitch, bounce. Yeah. Contrasting the unorthodox vocal delivery, the controlled editing lends weight to the song's relatively uplifting chorus as Sean navigates the neon landscapes. Bounce Back is far removed from classic hip-hop cliches, at least aside from a few booty shots of course, and it's something wholly unique and loaded with vibrant imagery. I'ma need like 10 feet, or get stomped out with 10 feet. I'ma always lose my temper, you cannot count to 10 me. Number seven, Blame, Bastille. You go sleep with the fishes. Directed by Elliot Sellers, this satirical video explores the psychological effects of cult thinking. Given the subject matter, it could be easy to force a variety of shocking visuals upon the viewer. Yet, Bastille and company take more of a Kubrickian approach, focusing on symmetrical framing and the underlying drama of the narrative. This is my body and soul.
it's more high art than hard rock, and Blame allows fans to experience the song in a different kind of way, troubling as the illumination may be. Sure, it may not be as accessible as some of your standard pop rock productions, yet that's what separates good bands from the truly innovative ones. Number 6. Ride Em On Down, The Rolling Stones For the visual compliment to their Eddie Thomas cover, The Rolling Stones keep it simple with just a badass girl in a blue Mustang. Of course, that girl is Kristen Stewart, and it's her charisma that fuels the collective storyline of Ride Em On Down. Directed by Francois Rousselet and filmed by Drive cinematographer Newton Thomas Siegel, it's a high-octane production that keeps it simple and straightforward, at least aside from a random zebra. No, it's not the most innovative of music videos, but it got a Hollywood A-lister acting like a rebel without a cause, and Case 2 most definitely knows how to work a camera. Life is a balance. You lose your grip, you could slip into an abyss. No doubt, you see these is tripping. Even Number five, false prophets. J. Cole. When he tell us he a genius, but it's clearer lately. It's been hard for him to look into the mirror lately. For conceptual reasons, the song itself didn't make J. Cole's 2016 album for your eyes only. Yet the visuals day in the life narrative captures the spirit of the artist. The women, the dick riders, you know the yes men. Nobody with the balls to say something to contest them. Whether Cole's rhyming on the corner or riding the bus. Scott Laser's direction highlights the lyricist's truth as he deconstructs posers and false prophets. Always worry about the critics who ain't never f***ing did it. I write what's in my heart, don't give a f*** who f***ing with it. Given the changing scenes and quick cuts, there's an urgency to the music video, which falls in line with the tone and pacing of Cole's words. It's not a glamorous production, but it gets the point across as Cole keeps it 100 from beginning to end. My highest moments come from telling all the saddest stories I've seen in my life. I be feeling the right songs that raise the hair on my arms. BBS the tech all in my wristwatch. Number four, Party. Chris Brown featuring Gucci Mane, Usher. Yet another music video directed by the artist. This clip takes a simple concept and dresses it up with style and grit. Thanks to the medium shot staging and well-timed camera shakes, Party relays the feeling of a warehouse dance-off while utilizing some angular images to establish atmosphere and space. And also, Brown provides a full snapshot of his party, with Gucci Mane and Usher receiving the close-up treatment for their standout verses. While some party videos go over the top with questionable antics and the usual cliches, Brown delivers a tightly directed video, one that relies more on precision and pace rather than in-your-face visuals. Number three, my favorite part, Mac Miller featuring Ariana Grande. You just don't know how beautiful you are. Directed by Underscore P, here's a slow jam production with a dividing line between the focal man and woman. Yes, there is a literal wall between Mac and Ariana, and it's the personal space that allows each to reflect on a potential romance. Musically, my favorite part strays from Miller's usual vocal delivery, and the distinct color palette shows him in a new light. In addition, the split-screen visuals create an intimate vibe, enhanced by the subject's close-ups and certainly the water leak. It all equates to a sexy and playful feel, as both parties involved become more and more ready for some late-night loving. If it's only so light, Number two, Alone, Alan Walker. Alone. 
touching on timely issues, both digital and personal. Norwegian DJ Alan Walker treks the globe with this eye-opening production. Directed by Rickard and Tobias Hagbaum, alone captures the claustrophobia of being confined to a small room. Yet, the subsequent visuals open the subject's universe while expanding their minds in the process. There's plenty to contemplate with this EDM music video, and the various filming techniques and image formats offer some texture to complement the jaw-dropping drone footage. Plus, the narrative pays off with a naturalistic climax, which poignantly touches upon the central message of Alan Walker's production. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Million Reasons, Lady Gaga Contrasting the more contrived Gaga videos of years past, this one keeps it genuine and raw. Directed by Ruth Hogben and Andrea Gallardin, Million Reasons builds upon the narrative of perfect illusion and establishes a personal tone with an early cut to black and white. The contemplative imagery locks into Gaga's state of mind, and the minimalistic visuals further support the idea that she's far more than just her pop persona. And so, Million Reasons represents a major turn in Stephanie Germanotta's videography as she communicates the uncertainty and self-doubt that everyone experiences at one time or another. So, do you agree with our list? No, it's not the time that you can receive a gift or change with a kiss. What's your favorite music video of December 2016? For more musical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.